Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. We are going to work on customizing these fonts so that they match what we have on the left in Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. We need to, to match these fonts. And what I've included is a, a resource that's got the, the mockups of the, the positions as well as the font. So let's go ahead and customize this. So in Xcode, the system font is going to be this SF Pro display that I'm using, and we just need to customize it a little bit. So if we select these, we can choose a different font size. And a lot of these are going to be, it looks like all of them are gonna be medium. So we can just go ahead and select all of our labels. We'll just edit the labels to start, and we will click the font button on the right. You can hide and show this panel if you don't see it. So click that button and then change them to medium. All right, so that's gonna change the size of everything. So again, we can go up to our size to fit content and it's not selected because it looks like I've defocused the element. So I'm gonna to have to reselect them. So I'll just hold the option key as I'm clicking on them and we will then do command equals that will resize our labels. Now the font sizes need to change. So let's go ahead, we'll just make them all 22 to start. And again, that's gonna make them a little bit different so we can resize them. And it's really just these, these top ones that need to be this. So let's go ahead and fix these. These will be all the same size and they're gonna be the same color. So we will select these and adjust them so that they are, according to this, 14 pixels big. So we just type that in, we can get that. We can readjust them by doing command equals if we have them selected. If you lose focus, sometimes working with the the editor, it will lose focus. You have to manually grab them again. And then we also want to change the font color so we can change our, our font color over on the right. The default is right here. What we want is either to use the color picker and you can try and pick it out, but it can be a little bit tricky if the font is really tiny to get the right color. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to type in this value. So over on this control, if we switch this to RGB, we should see the hex color editor and we can type in 7C8C8F. Press enter. That's going to adjust a little bit. So there is a little bit of um, pixelation that's going to affect that color. And it doesn't look like we had it. Oh, I changed the wrong thing. So the highlighted is the wrong thing to do here. This should still be black. So we'll go back to default for those four. The colors at the very top. If we just do other, we should be able to, again, try that one more time. I'll select these. And then we will go up to color. Click on this little thing. That toggles it so that it's active over here. And we just need to type in this font color, which again is what I have here. So I'm just gonna press enter and we don't see anything change. I'm gonna close our color picker and try this one more time. Okay, so now the font's changing. I'm gonna just type this out again. So it's 7C8C8F, enter. And I think that worked this time. So it looks like there was a little glitch there with Xcode not working 100%. All right, so that is our fonts. Our sizes are a little bit different. We've now got to customize this one as well. So this is our text field. We are going to adjust this. And it looks like over on the left, it's 45. So let's set this to 45. And it's going to be a medium. And it didn't take the 45, so let's write that again, 45. And now what we'll <clears throat> try and do is it's, it's resizing it, so we are going to do command equals, and now we see that it has changed its size. So the text field is gonna behave a little bit differently than our labels, and medium 45. So it looks slightly different to me than that mock-up, but that could be an issue with the sketch render that I have. This looks pretty good. We've got the intent. 
Uh, we don't have a button working for the bottom yet. That's what I'm gonna show you how to set up in the next video. Let's try and get our text fields sort of center aligned. So I'm just gonna drag them around. And you might want to reposition them. If something looks off or doesn't feel right, you can always zoom in and then you can sort of nudge things around using the keyboard. So you might need to, depending on the font that you choose, you might need to move this around so that it feels right. And then like something like this, like it is aligning right here, but I might want that asset to align better. So I might want to move this so that this 20% is sort of in line with that. And again, it's gonna depend on the font that you choose when you're actually tweaking all of these settings at a, a much more granular level. And because we changed the font, so these are gonna change a little bit. So if I want that five directly under, it looks like I might need to nudge it a pixel. And I'll just place that there, see how that looks. The, the center of this is gonna be a little bit offset because of this graphic here. So we might have to actually lift this up a little bit in order to make it look centered in the the UI because there's going to be a little bit more white space along the top because the actual image if we select it is this big. And so if we center to that image then it's not necessarily going to be the correct center. So we're going to have to account for it looks about uh, a, a small offset at the bottom. That might be too much so I could bring it down and then what I can do is I can align this one to be matched with that. Then if we scroll over with the trackpad we can then shift this one around a little bit. So I want it centered horizontally, and then I want it centered sort of vertically with these. So I'm gonna move this around till we get that. And then let's line up this last one. Now, if I want this zero to be more under that, I can nudge it, looks like two points over. And then let's adjust this right about there. And we can zoom back out. See how everything is looking. So that's sort of adjusting our, our labels and the UI related to that. And if we run this now on our iPhone, we shall see this appear. And once we start customizing these fonts, it's gonna make the app feel a lot, a lot better. It's gonna give us this more unified look and it's gonna match our visual design that we have sort of set up here. So we can sort of see how this compares. It looks like the font weight looks a little bit different to me. Um, this is an issue that sometimes I notice when translating font sizes to Xcode. Sometimes they're a little bit off. I'm not sure if that is a, a darker bold. We could always click on it and instead of going with a medium, we could choose a semi bold and see how that compares that looks a lot heavier, so I'm not sure if that's the right approach or if it just needs to be a slightly bigger font. So I'll just leave it for now. I think we're at a good spot. We've got the app working. We've got it looking a lot nicer. In the next video, we're gonna set up this button so that it's interactive. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. It's gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.